All right, so I'm finna explain something to y'all, right? So y'all can see, of course I'm sitting at a light, little traffic. There's two lanes. Now you see what this dumb car doing, right? <laughs> now, this is the left lane that we're in. This is the left lane, and that's the left lane. Now you see how empty this lane is, and why everybody lined up in this lane for? Like, can't no cars get over here on this lane. I'm sorry for the camera keep refocused. This dummy tried to drive around and cut through this lane, but there's no room right there. So you see the stupidity in a line of driving. You clearly see the stupidity in a line of driving. Well, none of these cars going to this lane. This lane just pretty much two cars over here. Everybody piled up in this lane. This stupid car gonna try to drive around me and get try to get into this lane. But there's no room. If there's no room, what you think? If there's room, don't you think I would have went over there? And now he got his blink on trying to come back. Now that's exactly the reason I don't want to let nobody in. So this is how stupid I say, look at this. Ain't nobody in this lane, but everybody over here. Yeah, so I just want to show y'all how stupid a lot of traffic or the people, I don't know who the way, I don't know, I ain't gonna say a lot of people because I don't know where these people from, but where these people come from, they cannot drive. Hey man, what's good, gang? Your favorite DJ, y'all already know what it is. It's back. I'm back with another video. Sorry I had to open up the video like that, but I had to show y'all the stupidity that goes on in Atlanta when it comes to driving. And that's why it be so many accidents, it be unnecessary traffic, all this stuff. Because people really can't drive down here. But yeah, anyway, skip that. That's here now. Uh, today, Friday, Booty Club Friday. I'm really on my way to the club right now. I'm running late. Um... But we gonna get that. We gonna get that. Have fun. Turn up. All that good stuff. So, yeah, I ain't got too much talk. No, what happened to the video? Video just cut off. My fault. But yeah, we on our way to the club. We finna turn up. Y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna stop the talking. We finna get straight to it. We finna have some fun with it tonight. good game y'all already know it's the next day last night phone dab i didn't even get to record everything there wasn't too much going on anyway you know what i'm saying five stage they weren't throwing money in the stage there was a couple sections going crazy but that's about it but a lot of girls ain't make no money uh last night so yeah some did some i mean but a lot didn't so hey that's how it go you know what i'm saying but it's the next day, Saturday. Is it? Yeah, it's Saturday. So I can get all my days confused. But you know what I'm saying? It's a whole nother day to get to it, get some money. I had an okay day, an all right day. I really don't even feel like driving to the club right now, so I don't. Oh, man. This fries busting up. And I'm killing them. 
My fault, y'all. I heard noises, all types of stuff. But I don't know what happened. I dropped my phone and the video stopped recording. But anyway, who cares? I'm at the club now. If you can hear that noise, I don't know if you can hear it. That let y'all know I'm at the club. Ooh. I'm in the rough right now. Oh, okay. Oh, man, 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 I don't feel like DJing right now. But let me go ahead and grab my stuff, get inside, see what it's looking like. Man, it's another day, another dollar. with it, you know what I'm saying, outside, you know what I'm saying, playing with sun sun, man, but, you know what I'm saying, like I say, man, we finna be back at it again tonight, last night, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, what, what happened last night, I barely even remember last night, to be honest with you, I don't even drink or nothing like that, I don't know, I was just burnt out, like, I don't know, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like, I be going hard still, but it be like, you know what I'm saying? I need like a reset button. Like, I don't know, I wanna go back home and hit the reset button for a couple of days. Like when I say home, go back to Chicago, hit the reset button for a couple of days, and then come back down here and be refreshed, rejuvenated back on the ground. Cause like, I've been working since, for a minute, since I went home last time. Like, and I ain't talking about when I went home. So I went home, what was that, October? But that was for a funeral. And then before that, I went home. Last time I was home was probably like last year in May, end of May, June, beginning of June, somewhere around that time. So yeah, I just wanna go home, eat some food, you know what I'm saying? Be around some people, you know what I'm saying? Be around the people you love. Be around them for a minute, come back, reset, so I can go even harder, you know what I'm saying? It's cool sometimes to reset, man. Work, 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 work all the time would kill you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want that type of life, man. You still got to enjoy life. Working is a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Being consistent is a good thing, but in between that, you know what I'm saying? Take a break, get back to your consistency. Yes. You finna do the other leg like that? Yeah, but that's all it is, you know what I'm saying? It's cool to take a break, to reset yourself. But, you know what I'm saying, get back on the grind, you know what I'm saying? Re remember why you're taking a break, you know what I'm saying? Because you've been working so hard. Need a little break real quick. Get back to it. Huh? Yeah, you can. Lift it up. Lift it up, though. Hey, yeah, lift the whole thing up. Yeah, but the back what I was saying, right? So, I'm saying it's good to take a break every now and then. Ain't no different like you was exercising. Yes. I made the first clip of my YouTube video. You made your first clip? Yeah. I need to make the other one, being the Ender Dragon. Okay. What's that you got to do? Well, we should go in the house anyway, because I got to uh, fix you something to eat. So you can get in the tub. Yeah. But... Oh, man, he keep throwing me off track. It's cool, though. But, you know what I'm saying? Cool, take a break, get back to it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no different from exercising. You can't exercise every single day lifting weights. Your body needs a, a break to just rest. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I think I need to take. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I might take one in June again. Go back in Chicago in June. Maybe July, one of them days. But, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I got this bump right here. It's bleeding. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. I might go in June, though. Go in June, take a break. Go out there for a couple of days, like three days, maybe four days. Then get back down here and get back to it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? We, like I say, we at it again tonight. So we back in the club. Today's Sunday night. 
the night I hate. So if you watch any of my previous vlogs, you know what I'm talking about. Like, there's no, like, I don't know what's wrong with the crowd on Sunday, but I don't know. I might have a trick. I might go crazy on the night. Like 300? Huh? Not yet. Not yet. Maybe when I get some more. Yeah, but. Uh, probably before 4 million. See, my son said, give me 4 million subscribers. 4 million. I mean, we can work though. We can get to it. You know what I'm saying? It's not only just the DJ channel. You know what I'm saying? I'll be sending words of motivation too. Because I want everybody to follow me. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to win in life just as much as I want myself to win in life. You know what I'm saying? We can all do it. Just use me an example. You know what I'm saying? Work hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to start doing YouTube. I just picked up my phone and started doing, recording YouTube. To be honest with you. Like, it's all to take. Just do it and stay consistent with it. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to do. Just stay consistent. But anyway, man, I'm finna go on ahead and get out of here so I can handle, you know what I'm saying, daddy duties, get my son right, get all that. And also get myself together, too, so I can go to the club tonight, prepare myself to DJ. You know what I'm saying? Have a good night tonight. You know what I'm saying? I know it's Sunday. Like, the crowd be real dry now for some strange reason. I don't know why. I don't know why the Sunday be so dry, but we, we gonna figure this out tonight. We gonna get through it, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully we can turn this crowd around and have them have some energy to them. Like, that'd be the thing missing with Sunday, energy. Like, it ain't necessarily the music we playing. They like the music, they enjoy it. They just don't do nothing to it. So, you gotta get that energy right in that type thing. So, yeah, we on that tonight, so <coughs> be prepared for that. But like I said, man, I'm gonna go handle these daddy duties and I catch back over with you. Gang, 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 gang. It's that time of the night. Ran to the store real quick. Now we finna go to the club. Um, I'm hella late. Like the time, shit, I'm supposed to be there around 10 o'clock. It's almost 10 o'clock now. And I already know it's gonna take me about 30 minutes to get to the club anyway. So, yeah, I'm gonna go in and fly down this highway. Oh, man. And try to get to the club as fast as I can. Cause like I told y'all, man, I'm already late. I don't know, it was rough. Rough, 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 rough. After we came from outside, but yeah. But they'll be okay. They'll be all right. I'll be there. At the club, at the club, at the club, at the club. Ugh. And yeah, finally at the club. It's that Sunday night BS that I probably got to deal with when I be talking about people be drawing the club, don't be doing nothing and all that other stuff. Like, that's that night. So hopefully, we won't have that type of night tonight. But we will see. Hold on, y'all finna look at the staff for like two seconds. about that yeah man but we finna be at the club tonight dealing with this bs so hopefully uh they got some energy tonight or something because man like i said man, i'll be tired of djing and they ain't doing nothing and you sitting here yelling hollering they ain't man like they get old after a while you know what i'm saying but we finna see how this sunday night go for real but let me finish grabbing the stuff so i'm gonna get inside Man, when I say tonight was dead, man, tonight was dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? There wasn't really nothing going on at all, bro. Like, I mean, when I first got in, there was a few people in, they left, man. It was like, it was like a, like a Tuesday night, Monday night type deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, there really wasn't nobody in here. There wasn't even no purpose of recording. Like, it was a waste of time if I recorded anything. There wasn't nothing really to see at all. I mean, you just gonna see an empty club, that's about it. But yeah, wasn't nothing to see at all, man. Like, I was completely trash. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Like, trash and trash. Sunday night. They still had the same vibe, though. Like, not doing nothing. Like, that vibe still exists. Like, yeah. 
Like, I mean, it was a few people that threw money out there, but, like, after that, man, it was dead, man. And that was early. That was, like, when I first got here. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? Downhill, 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 downhill. Oh, man. But I'm finna finish packing my stuff so I can get up out of here. The next day. Oh, man, guys. I'm literally just sitting here in the car. I ain't got out the car yet. Because I'm tired. Oh, man. Last night was long and boring. And then also, you know what I'm saying? My legs are very sore and tight. Because I wouldn't say tight, but like, you know, after you do leg workout, you ain't going to be able to walk. So that's why I'm just sitting here. Because I'm really sitting here sore as hell. Oh, man. I really don't feel like moving. Oh, man. But I want to take the time out to appreciate and thank y'all even coming to my channel like i don't know how y'all get to my channel how y'all found my channel but i'm glad y'all found my channel you know what i'm saying i highly appreciate that you know what i'm saying and it motivates me to just keep going because i know people really watching and people subscribing you know what i'm saying i ain't even reached 500 yet but you know what i'm saying i appreciate it with what i get you know what i'm saying it's a slow process so it's a process of growth you know what i'm saying so we are I'm, I'm not tripping you know what i'm saying slow and steady win the race for the most part so yeah so I want to appreciate everybody, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say we family, you know what I'm saying? We gang, like all of us, you know what I'm saying? We together, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully, hearing me talk, help, you know what I'm saying? Motivate a lot of y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, like, I, if I change one person's life one day from just looking at my videos and listening to what I say and all that stuff, man, great. Because, you know what I'm saying? Not only do I want to show y'all, like, DJ stuff, what we do, how the clubs look like, stuff like that. But also, you know what I'm saying? I want to motivate y'all and help y'all reach y'all goals and what y'all trying to do. Because I'm doing the same thing. So that's that's the main thing. That's the two main things you're going to get out of my channel. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get motivated. You know what I'm saying? I got to find a way to motivate y'all to go get up and get to it. You know what I'm saying? But no matter what it might be. You know what I'm saying? Like I always say, like, I don't know y'all goals and dreams and stuff like that. But whatever it is, you can reach it. You know what I'm saying? You be working at Walmart right now, your job one day want to be a a store manager type thing over a store. You can do that. You know what I'm saying? You be working at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I don't know what the entry level at McDonald's is, but, like, if you work at McDonald's and one day you want to own you some McDonald's, you can do that. Same thing if you working for Chick-fil-A, Target, any of these companies or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you don't feel like, 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 because I know everybody, like, doing youtube or doing some entrepreneurship and all this other stuff ain't for everybody you know what i'm saying i understand that so but you still could strive in the field that you in already so yeah man take that in note man make some goals for yourself even just like like i say man you working at walmart right now write some goals for yourself you know what i'm saying try to move up within the company you know what i'm saying the money though you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna lie i used to work at walmart you know what i'm saying Worked at Walmart for a little minute, but, you know what I'm saying, stuff happened. I got, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna lie, I got fired from Walmart, so. I got fired from Walmart multiple times, but, you know what I'm saying, it was just the fact, you know what I'm saying, working at Walmart made me comfortable, and getting fired took that, you know what I'm saying, uncomfortable, put me in an uncomfortable position, but it was good for me, you know what I'm saying, because it made me work harder, and, you know what I'm saying, really go out the DJing type thing, so, you know what I'm saying, when I got fired, I was very appreciative of it, you know what I'm saying, that's how I looked at it. And also, too, to, oh, man, take accountability of what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to point the finger, blame somebody, and all that other stuff. Like, I ain't gonna lie, when I got fired from Walmart, I, I took my, I, you know what I'm saying, took accountability, pretty much. Because it was like, I can't, how am I gonna get mad if I put myself in this position? You know what I'm saying? If I never put myself in that position, I would never get fired. But I put myself in that position and ended up getting fired. But then also, too, I looked at it as a good thing after I got fired. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, now I can really pursue what I want to pursue. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to fill out a job application. I'm not going to do this. Yeah, it's going to be hard some days. It's going to be good some days. But this is what I want to do. So I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't let nothing discourage me from that. You know what I'm saying? I just put everything into it. I don't want no more one foot in, one foot out type thing. But like, like, once you make a decision and what you do, depend on what it is, you going to have to make a decision can't be on the fence, you know what I'm saying, you got to be on either this side of the fence or the other side of the fence, you got to choose, you know what I'm saying, so when I got fired, that's when I really made my decision, and like, I'm not going back to no regular job or anything like that, so I was like, skip it, go on ahead, 
let's get the grind begins, you know what I'm saying? And the grind begun. So y'all see me here today. Y'all always see me in the club. Y'all always see me working. Things of that nature, and that's good. And I come to keep on elevating, showing y'all. You can get more, you know what I'm saying, as long as you stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself, have confidence in yourself. Stay consistent and learn. Like, because you're going to fail at a lot. You know what I'm saying? In your journey, you're going to fail a lot. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared of failure. Failure is the best thing that can happen to you because we all learn from failure. You know what I'm saying? Take the time to really learn from your failures and just not be failing and ain't learning from it. You know what I'm saying? So really take time to learn from your failures and also, too, man, just start surrounding yourself by more positive people. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what they do. You know what I'm saying? As long as they going in a good direction and they really, you know what I'm saying, standing on that. So, oh, man. I'm tired, too. My bad, child. Like, I'm really, ready to lay down. Because I think, like, almost 1 o'clock I've been up. Like, I probably got home probably, like, 4.30, 4.40. And was back up at 6.30. So, yeah, I'm kind of tired right now. So, yeah. Oh, man. But anyway, man, this... Before I get up out of here, because I don't think I'm just talking too much, but, but before I get out of here, man, I want everybody to know what I'm saying. Just, just start off something simple with just believing in yourself and building up your confidence. You know what I'm saying? That right there is going to take you a long way in general. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people got low confidence. Build your confidence up. You know what I'm saying? Start facing your fears or whatever your fears is. Just start facing them. Like, don't, don't, don't be scared of them no more. Because sometimes once you face your fears, you realize, like, wow, I was scared to do this or do that, do that, man. So, I don't know. I want y'all to go face y'all fears, you know what I'm saying? Overcome that and build your confidence. Because when you face your fears, it's going to build your confidence as well, you know what I'm saying? So think about that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm finna go on ahead and get up out of here. I'm tired as ever. I'm ready to lay down. Probably finna finally get out this car and lay down. Oh, man, it's kind of nice in Atlanta too today. Sun, that was like 80 some degrees. So, yeah. Oh, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, I'm finna get up out of here. The curly hair DJ. So I'm saying y'all see the curls, the curls for the girls or whatever like that. I say comment below and let me know, man. Shout y'all like the dreads or the fro. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know. Y'all like the dreads or the fro, man. Pick one. What? You know what I'm saying? It's your favorite DJ. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? Till next time, you already know what I like to do. Two fingers up. I'm out, gang.